Hey everybody, Sid Survival Guide here, signing in. Today, we have uh, got some pay dirt. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pay dirt and we're gonna put it in said pan and we're gonna find the gold and we're gonna suck it up with this snuffer bottle. Now, I live in Tennessee and as much as I love Tennessee, it's kind of hard to, to find the gold here. I've been to Coker Creek with m and Prospecting. Wonderful people. You should go check the channel out. I'll put a link in the description below. He actually took me to an area that was... I'll never, I'll never find it again. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'll never find it. But I want to go back there. And I have the ability to go back there a lot now. So... And also I have a buddy who got into the gold prospecting, prospectors of America. So, bag itself looks pretty good. Can't really tell. Let's see, put some light on it. Looks pretty good in there. Okay. We're going to take this. We're going to put it in here. And we're going to see what it looks like. Oh, wait. Forgot this. I'm gonna use this to mix that up because in the past I've done that. It just creates a lot of bubbles. This is a smooth surface. There we go. All right. Let's see what we can get going here. All right, now it's in the pan. So first impressions, you see it's kind of a little dirty. Water is uh, seeming just a little bit dirty. I'm gonna shake it up, see how much dirtier it gets and look for the floaters. Cause I've seen a couple in there. All right. Now I don't know how fine that this gold is supposed to be. I don't have a clue about any of it so hopefully we can get all this dirt out of here I'm not seeing any big chunks because living in Tennessee I'll be a hundred percent honest with you this looks like what we get here okay I do see some gold all right I'm gonna pour this out a little bit Real quick. All right. So apparently, this is going to be some pretty fine gold. So, what I do, what I'm going to do. Is I'm gonna use this, the snuffer bottle. All of mine are chewed up because I have to use my teeth, and it makes it hard to for that. So I gotta cut them sometimes because I don't have for some. I got you see Bernice. I named it because it got I got so mad at it that I got tired of cussing just my finger. So I named it Bernice because I poke stuff with it and I can't feel it and whatnot. All right, so what we're going to do, okay, so I see some. Is that gold? Is it gold? That's gold. Oh. All right, a little bit, just a little bit, but with my amount of experience, I got to be careful because uh, I'll lose it. I'll lose the gold. I will say, though, this is... I mean, this is Tennessee soil, really. This is, uh, feels like. And in Tennessee, you have got to be extremely careful. 
because the gold, if you can find it, will float right out with this stuff. Now I am going to keep all these concentrates just like I did from the other pay dirts, but I do put the pay dirt concentrates together. I don't separate them. I'm not to the point yet where I want to start like cataloging all the gold and the locations it comes from because of my lack of knowledge. So I do see a big piece. Oh, it bounced away, but that's okay. All right. So that big piece was kind of sitting on top. So we gotta be careful. After I had poured some out, it looked like it was sitting on top. So you got a big piece of quartz in there in comparison to the rest of the stuff. All right, so I'm not seeing any big chunks or anything like that. Oh, but there's the there's the, the, the nitty gritty stuff right there. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want to get all this overburden off of here. Come on, overburden. Let's just we're saving this stuff. So let's just go ahead and we know now that it has some small flakes, and I'm okay with that. It's a good thing. We have just got to make sure that we pay attention and we don't let nothing go. Now, do we see anything? Yeah, oh wow. Okay. So, here we go, you see? Right there. locations and how things are and what it all comes down to like how the gold reaches where I'm at and I read a lot and all that good stuff so I try my best to stay up on the areas that I can go because like I want to travel and do stuff and Coker Creek is kind of the only place right now that's near me that's over right there great big piece right there got it got it ba -ba -ow. Ba -ba -ba. I like I say that a lot to my kids ba -ba. what are you gonna do with it when it happens you gotta deal with the bop bop about it you know, like the consequences, but I just use bop bop. My kids know what I mean. It's like a universal thing. I can say it about several things, and they're just like, oh, that's what that's what that meant. That's what that meant. You better watch yourself. He's got the bop bop out. You know what I mean? See how well it worked right then? Can't never, you can't never be too bop bop. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's universal. Look, we got a bunch right there. Whoa. Oh, whoa. That's a lot. Okay, look, I'm just gonna dig these, these big guys out right here. Cause they're causing some issues. Uh-huh. Mm hmm, I mm -hmm. Wow, that was pretty. About that? Give that one to Jessica. Okay, we got some dark stones, we got some super heavies. Super heavy with this one. I know there's a quartz in there somewhere. I think it already came out though. There's another little piece of quartz. But it looks like 
there's quite a bit of gold in this. You know, and it's not that there was not a lot of gold in the other one, but this gold is fine. Like I'm have to, I'm gonna have to work for this. And that's all right, because the other one was like a beginner level. I mean, it was good for, for getting started, but you know, when you come across stuff in Tennessee, this is what it's gonna look like. This is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be dark. It's gonna be sandy. It's gonna be, it's gonna have heavy blonde overburden like this has right here. All right, we got some gold starting to show. But what's crazy is the gold is starting to show before the actual black sand lines. Usually you'll have a line of black sand that shows and then you can pull the gold back like, like this. There, see that the heavy, oh, there's a heavy. You got a heavy black line at the top of the pan. And then you take, and there's your black line. Look, look at that. It's actually not too bad for uh, when it comes to being able to pan it. Shake out there. And we get it right. Alright. Pretty good. I think we've got some more to go though. I think we got a little bit in here. Now what I've done though, is I have protected myself by grabbing all that gold out of there. Got this tiny little bit of stuff left. So I'm going to get this poured out in here. All right, guys, let's go take a look at this on the scales. Let's check out and see how much that was. All right, so we've got 0.16. We've got 16th of a gram. There you go, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. It's been a wonderful experience getting to use some of the gold from, or it's been a, it's been a real pleasure getting to sample some of the pay dirt from Alaska. It's been a wonderful experience. It, it really reminds me of being in Tennessee and I would definitely recommend this if you have done some pay dirts before. It's easy to recognize. You got to do a little separating with the black sands from the gold. 
but that's a pretty good amount to get what I've got. And if you guys are interested, it also helps me if you choose these Amazon links in my descriptions. It also helps me be able to buy more stuff like this in order to make more videos like this for you guys. So, if you have enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on Patreon. Greatly help. This is Sid Survival Guide. Signing out.